Astronomers have been looking at the skies for thousands of years and when they started, all they had to use was their eyes. And now there's two problems with just using your eyes. The first problem is that eyes are quite small, so they don't let very much light in. And if you want to see something that's very faint, which is generally true for something that's very far away, then you're going to struggle. The second problem is that if you're someone like me who has to wear glasses, then your eyes aren't very good at focusing the light into a single point. And that means that when you see the object, it'll be a bit blurry. And bear in mind, of course, that glasses weren't invented until many years after astronomers started looking at the skies. And it wasn't until Galileo came along in the year 1609 and invented what I'm sitting next to, this telescope. Now, the telescope does two things for us when we're trying to look in the skies. The first thing it does is that it increases the amount of light that it lets in. So it increases what we call the collecting area of the object. The second thing it does is that it allows us to focus the light much better. So not only do we see much brighter images, we also see them much more clearly. Now let's go to the lab where we'll see what Chris is doing and we'll see how modern astronomers look at the skies today. Duncan introduced you to the idea of a telescope and why we want to build um, telescopes to, to get a better view of the universe and to grab more of the light from distant objects. What we've been able to do over the last few years is actually launch telescopes into space and we get a much clearer view of things. So you've probably heard of the Hubble Space Telescope. This is a model of the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be launched on a big rocket in about five years' time. Um, so this is just a scale model. So if you can see the individual mirrors on the main bit of the telescope, each one of these mirrors is just over one metre high. So if you imagine five of you standing on top of each other, this is actually a colossal piece of kit that we're launching into orbit. So we launched this on a huge rocket from um, just south of the equator. And when it gets out of the rocket, this thing will unfold in space. And then the light will be, this will be moved around to point at different objects. The light comes in, reflects off this mirror, and then comes down into the instruments, into the cameras, so we can start taking observations. 